for this 8-8 portal. So I'm having some technical difficulties. I've been trying to get my um, the laptop to um, not be blurry, to focus on the cards. It will not focus. So I'm going to just give it one last chance and see if I can get it to do it because it just will not focus no matter what I do. Like it'll focus, like, yeah, there, but it, once it goes back here, it won't. So I'm just going to show you them. And maybe if I put it like closer, like the card that's going to be center stage. So what I'm going to do is you guys can pick your one, two, or three. So this is option number one. This is option number two. And this is option number three. Now, you can, this is a, the, we are, what are we manifesting? Sorry, I am, it just threw me for a loop not being able to get this thing to focus. So what are you manifesting? And we are going to begin now with this 8-8 portal. What are we manifesting for this 8-8 portal? Hold that intention. We start with pile one. I'm so bummed that I couldn't get it to uh, focus. I'm not even telling you a bummed is not the word to describe it. I was so angry. Okay, I could kind of like put it here. I'm just going to have to like wing it here. There we go. Oh, a feather. Oh, good job. Well, that's not going to work. I'm just having the time of my life today. My apologies. Mind you, I still have a lot of other cards that I need to put on this thing, so it's gonna be a it's gonna be a doozy. Okay, so we're gonna begin with pile number one. So we're gonna start. We've got what are you manifesting? You're manifesting stability. We have the emperor. So something you're manifesting something solid, something stable, something um, logical, practical. Work smarter, not harder. You're letting go of control. You're becoming more disciplined. Or maybe letting go of the discipline. Like maybe you were overly disciplined, right? When I see the, the emperor, he's like, he's a balanced man. So very dependable. So number four, teaching and learning. So maybe you are manifesting a... Uh, learning something or you're teaching something or a lesson is being had. You are also getting out of your head. The four can tend to be in its head a lot. So I feel like you're manifesting getting out of your head. You're healing things from your brain. If you look at the card, it really looks like there's chaos going inside. So you're manifesting some sort of peace of mind. I'm going to sit this here for, for now. We got confirmation. So we're going to leave confirmation there. I'm going to hopefully remember to read it to you guys. We've got the whale. Oh, I love the whale. Really powerful card. So let's talk about the whale. So what are you manifesting with this little whale? I can't tell you how bummed I am about that. <laughs> about it not being able to focus this is a first and youtube has no answers like i asked them and they have nothing for me they got nothing to say okay so here we go the whale uh unselfishness life uh, life records the akashic records sound the whale rises from the waters the lifeblood of the planet to release the energy of sound so you are manifesting healing dna healing yourself um healing mind body and spirit uh, maybe getting more fit, maybe eating healthier, right? Um, anything in your DNA health-wise, maybe your ancestral line, you are healing that. So the whale holds the records of our life with their song every year. Oh, my God. Strumming my pain with his fingers, singing my life with his words, healing me softly with his song. 
Um, that was one of the songs for today that is in this reading, but it's not in this particular pile. Um, this particular particular pile received, sorry, this pile one is gonna be all over the place. I feel very disorganized. I'll, I'll get more into um, into the groove with two and three, but I feel like, I, I don't know why I feel so disorganized with this pile. Is there like, is there some, some, something that needs to be organized? Because we do have the four there, which represents organization. Oh, for goodness sakes, please. So we have, the first song is I'm Yours for you guys. You only have one song. Um, Will you done done me? I'm yours by Jason Rise. You bet I felt it. I tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. Now I'm trying to get back. Before the cool done run out, I'll be giving it my best. And nothing's going to stop me but divine intervention. I reckon it's again my turn to win some or learn some. But I won't hesitate no more, no more. Um... Well, open up your mind and see like me. Open up your plans and damn, you're free. Look into your heart and you'll find love. Listen to the music of the moment people dance and sing. We're just one big family. And it's our God-forsaken right to be loved. So I've been spending way too long checking my face in the mirror and bending over backwards just to try to see it clearer. But my breath fogged up the glass, so I drew a new face and laughed. I guess what I'll be saying is there ain't no better reason to rid yourself of vanity and just go with the season. It's what we aim to do. Our name is our virtue. Your name is your virtue in numerology, right? And your family name and your ancestry. And it's telling you to let go of, of the vanity of of earth, of wanting to look good, wanting to, you know, your body needs to look a certain way. You need to drive a certain car. You need to like, you know, look younger or look hipper or whatever. And just connect with nature. You are beautiful as you are. I'm yours. Okay. So back to the whale. So the, as we know, the whale heals all this like insecurities and things that we might have, not con no confidence in ourselves. So yeah swim with the whale and sing the song of life and whale has been a repeating symbol as well so here we go let's continue we have portal for the red moon oh my goodness portal for the red moon that sounds like um menstruation <laughs> uh we're seeing the ending of a cycle oh the ending of a cycle maybe somebody's having the end of their menstrual cycle are you having the end of your menstrual cycle and my right ear is ringing super loud right now um so nine of diamonds which would be the nine of pentacles in this in traditional tarot but it's it doesn't mean that in this deck so i will tell you what it means right this second uh portal for the red moon acceptance see accepting yourself just as you are accepting um your perceived flaws accepting your body as it is accepting your face as it is Exact, accepting exactly where you are is exact, exactly where you're meant to be. I'd love to change some things about myself where, where I think things that I would change other people find beautiful. So you have to stop looking at yourself in the mirror and, and, and finding faults in it. Um, the portal for the red moon is a gateway to another moon in another galaxy. It's known as the oops portal. The downside, you might have made a mistake summoning this portal on this moon. Things behave differently. Life has a way of surprising you, and sometimes there's no way to prepare yourself for what comes next. Let your mistakes impact your outcome by finding a way to grow from them. The upside, this could take you on the most exi exciting journey of your life. That oops could end up fantastic. So sometimes mistakes are adventures, right? Especially like when people have children that were technically mistakes. There are no mistakes in life. But that takes you on a whole adventure, and then you you experience things that you never. What? It, this better not be blurry again. <laughs> Is it blurry again? I hope not. Hey, there's nothing I'm going to be able to do about it. But anyway, so yeah, red moon. Let's continue. We've got dissipating. So we're working on our solar plexus, uh, manifesting confidence. That's the key here. So far, that's been the key message here. Is your confidence, um, how you feel about yourself, how you look about yourself, um, 
etc and healing those things right i love the canary i like that she's watching a spy show like matlock or like macgyver <laughs> um she's feeling old like i just want to sit on my chair and and maybe that's where the the feeling of time is coming in right sing like a canary so they're singing again Karaoke is great for the throat chakra, by the way. I felt like I was going to sneeze, and then I didn't sneeze. Ugh. Almost did. I feel like I still am. <laughs> uh, dissipated. It's like I feel like like something's going to make me sneeze, and I can't. Is it is it blurry again? Please tell me it's not blurry. Goodness gracious. Please, please just stay still. It's blurry. There's, look at, like, my hand's not blurry, but the card is blurry. And this is frustrating me. I am sorry, guys. I'll just hold it there. So we have dissipating. And I was going to do it on my phone, much easier on my phone. But my phone, when I do it on my phone, it takes about... 15 hours to upload. So I had to do it this way. I am more than I think I am. Beware of being imprisoned by the story you tell yourself. Look at this message. You are beautiful. Like you, your perceived flaw. Stop looking at people on TV or the Kardashians or all that stuff and comparing yourselves to them. Nothing is as it seems. Those people don't look that good in person. I mean, they're beautiful, yes, but they have skin texture. They have flaws that get airbrushed in their photos. So a lack of planning does not indicate misfortune. Taking action, content to dream, going in circles, strong intelligence, making excuses, procrastinating. So where have you been making excuses or procrastinating? Um, and it talks about companionship, connection, and assistance. So finding a companion to assist you. Somebody that you have a great connection with. Híjole, pues. I'm telling you, I, I thought today was going to be like this magical day. And it has been nothing but troubles after trouble. And I'm not. I'm trying not to focus on it, you know. And you know why? Because the dang Moldavite card came through. <laughs> so we're also working on our heart chakra. We're working on transforming our heart and the way that we, we see things and the way per, we perceive things. So we have the number 1111 here, manifestation. So there's a manifestation coming. That's something that you is dear, near and dear to your heart that you've been wanting to manifest. Moldavite can bring a lot of chaos, but from chaos, Moldavite brings clarity. So I always tell people, don't work with, chaos, with Moldavite unless you are ready to um, really experience a transformation, like you really want to change. There's people say, I want to change, but then they don't want to change. So I'm telling you, don't get multiplied unless you really want to experience something. Portal for the rainbows was my placeholder. Oh, how cute. So we've got the multiplied, the star child. This is the, the serious um, crystal. Moldavite often encounters one that is unwilling to live inwardly, lost, separate, isolated, disgusted, and unwilling to accept themselves on Earth. Then, as Moldavite works its magic, the star child becomes accustomed to physical Earth life and accepting of its limitations. They discover the joys of free will and slowly a passion to create a better world emerges. Under Moldavite's guidance, they take new, brave, and original paths. So, free will. The 1111 gateway. Lord Melchizedek, telepathy. So Moldavite is a positive energy in your life on this day, indicating a gift, skill, or path that has been lying dormant within your spirit. This has been triggered into manifestation by your recent action or perhaps lack of it. Its energy signals growth, renewal, change, something that was put in place long before your birth into this world is about to be realized and manifested. So something amazing is being manifested. Moldavite only brings amazing things to you. Yes, it brings chaos, but it also brings amazing clarity and amazing gifts. So, um, and the animal totem is the whale shark. And we had 
um, the whale come through. So let's read the whale, why don't we? I wasn't planning on it, but now I am. Humpback whale, orca whale. Express yourself through your voice by singing. Yeah, singing, humming, or chanting. Simply for the pure joy of doing so. It's an especially creative time for you. So immerse yourself in the process and enjoy artistic expression of whatever emerges from the depths of your imagination. <laughs> I'm just singing it. This is a time of great spiritual expansion for you. So the more you can clear your mind, such as through regular meditation, the better. Dive deep. You've been so occupied with creative and artistic projects that you're out of balance and need to step away by playing, socialize, or otherwise distracting yourself for a while. So if you've been spending way too much time creating, maybe it's time to take a break and play. Okay, so let's continue. Well, look at, here's, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at, look at all these messages that, that talk about the, their confirmation of all the other cards self-love comes out which this card is all about self-love you put that sucker at your heart and it'll help you feel love on a profound deep level for yourself it'll help you stop making decisions that harm you and hurt your soul it'll stop it'll allow you it, it won't let you keep people in your life who hurt you because you'll know your self-worth right I mean, this has been the, the whole message for pile one has been self-love, self-confidence, believing in yourself. You're beautiful. Oh my God, it's it's working. <laughs> it's working, guys. It's not it's not blurry anymore. <sighs> hmm. Now I analyze why that was. Why could I not see it clearly is the message? Why was it blurry for me? Why couldn't I see it clearly? just how wonderful you are. Why couldn't you see clearly just how beautiful you are and how deserving you are? Why do you stay around people who don't deserve your energy? So we got Shanika, she, oh no, Sh Shakina. It could be Shanika. Shakina, sacred self, unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. So we got dancing and singing and inner peace is coming. Inner peace is manifesting for you because the dove represents not only Prince, the purple one, but it represents peace and harmony. And I feel like you're finally accepting yourself and loving yourself. You're having this self-love for yourself, which in turn is bringing these amazing experiences to you. I think it's absolutely marvelous. And now we have Chewin. Uh, look at the ocean again. I've been getting a lot of ocean, but look at, it looks like little cat ears or like little bunny ear, like a little nose, little fox ears and a little fox nose a cute little nose oh hi sweet girl frankie okay hi my mama what do you want to do you want to post it with me come here come here my rascal oh my goodness no my baby girl i don't want to move the camera but frankie's here <laughs> and on my baby Okay, okay, thank you for the kisses. I appreciate your love so much. Thank you. You're going to sit right here? Okay. Thank you for the kisses. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. I wish I could pause this. Um, I don't want to ignore her when she wants to give me love because it's very rare. She is a character. Chewing. Portal for the light. Light giver. Okay. Go sit over there, Frankie. You want to come on up? Okay. So we have Chewin. My apologies for the chaos. <laughs> so Chewin is the monkey. Um, and that's what I call Frankie. She's my monkey. The qualities are innocence, playfulness, spontaneity, the inner child. Oh my God. Humor, monkey, trickster, disruption, disruption, and transparency. What did Frankie just do? The little monkey interrupted my reading. So you always have to be in the moment. Like you can't always be so hyper-focused on something and then you miss out on things like that. I think that's also the message here, right? And also the playfulness, it heals your inner child. 
So if there's a lot of childhood trauma, it helps heal that. And the symbols are not just the monkey, but the dolphin. It's number 11. So I think you had another 11 in there as well. You had 11, 11 uh, with the other cards. So now you have 11, 11, 11. So you're manifest, you're, there's a big manifestation coming for you. Um, yeah. So the shadow wisdom, this is what you're learning or what the shadow wisdom is, right? Being too serious, issues of speaking your truth, misuse of humor, insensitivity, and sarcasm. The shadow transformation is lighten up, speak your truth directly, but kindly, be vulnerable, be sensitive, be open-hearted, accept life's disruptions with good humor and heart. Reassess your sensitivity by healing your inner child. The affirmation is I am innocent, open-hearted, transparent, divine child. Well, isn't that like, this is everything that just happened right now. You guys experienced it with me. I think that is really cool. And then finally, we've got confirmation. So confirmation. Look at that beautiful, look at all those pearls. So this card, this deck has like some of them that have pearls and some don't. But look at that. It looks like a chakra to me. Spinning. And here's the other side. Because these are DNA, DNA subconscious triggers that ignite dormant strands of DNA. Confirmation. So this is just letting you know that it's confirming everything that's been, that I've been saying today. If you needed a confirmation, it's like, I feel like you always need a confirmation in order for you to validate something. Like if you don't get the confirmation, you don't feel that it's validated. So we're working on confirmation. The energy of confirmation tells us that our consciousness is developing rapidly. Everything we think is actually confirmed. Everything we think is actually confirmed. If we think or live based on fear, this fear will indeed be confirmed. If you live in love, the love will be confirmed. Develop your power of thought and create what you really want. Then your wishes will be confirmed. So this is a powerful, you guys are manifesting this portal. This is a very magical portal for you guys. So very, be very mindful of what it is you're manifesting, how you're feeling. That's why, like, I was very fussy and angry today. I don't know why. Like, something kept, something keeps popping up that was, like, and it's not my energy. So, and then I, I would have to pull myself, like, no, I don't, this is a powerful manifestation day. I don't want to manifest that. So I have to, like, like, stop what I'm doing right now to play with Frankie for a second, even though I'm doing a reading, because I, I, it was something that I had to do right? Ooh. Frankie's alarm. As I'm talking about Frankie, it's her medicine alarm. So let's um, change that to six. Okay. So now let's get to pile number two. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. Remember, you guys are magic manifestors. You had 1111 all, all across the board with the numbers in here. And I actually had, um, I forgot to, I want to go do one of these for you guys. Insight opens the third eye to strengthen your intuition. Look at the eye. I've been telling you, I've been seeing, if you watch my stories, it's eyes everywhere. I'm seeing eyes everywhere. And here's another deck. Hold on. I want to do two of the, one of these and one of these. Free spirit. To be a free spirit is to float without walls, to fly without judgment, and to love without conditions. Look, so the cards were underneath this guy. I had to pick him up, and he's a little fly. I just want to fly free spirit. Love it. All right. So thank you guys. Pile one. I appreciate you guys moving on to pile two. Frank, I'm, I'm almost done. Okay. Frankie's like, be better. Have my food. Be better. Have my dinner. What are you guys manifesting, Pile 2? I'm excited. So the song for you guys, we only got one song per, per pile today. Whew. And I'm getting winded. Like, I feel like I got to take a deep, deep breath. Out of breath. I'm out of breath. And um, I don't know. That's not my feeling. So the next song 
is Attitude by Alien Aform. And if you watched my 8 8 live earlier, um, Alien, I, dream, I had a dream about um, my friends in Alien Ant Farm. So it was very strange. But the song is Attitude. And that talks about, you know, a relationship that, you know, the closest to us, the people that are closest to us are the ones that we give the most attitude to because we know they'll never leave us. So we, it, this is, talks about that. Your attitude is welcome. Like, you know, maybe I act on confused behavior. Maybe I spend my off time without you. It seems like we need our own space. And all this time I voiced it away to not feel good unless you stay. Your, your attitude is welcome, welcome. Your solitude is welcome, welcome. All you see is red lights behind me. Maybe this isn't what you wanted, baby. And I don't blame you falling backward. No one's ever quite confused you this way. So this is like a relationship that goes back and forth and back and forth. Like you want this or you don't want this. Do you want to leave or do you want me to stay? And that continual push and pull. Um, and, you know, finally finding the, the clarity. So, and when I think of alien ant farm, I think of us humans, right? We are aliens. We are an alien's ant. <laughs> they are over here farming us. So we have the queen of pentacles. So your main energy, what's, what you are manifesting is money. Money is coming for you. Um, abundance. Look at that. The abundance card. Fertility, prosperity, sensuality, creativity, wealth. Um, you are taking care of others. You're, 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 you're going to be able to take care of others. I think that's something that you really would want to do. Your throat chakra is also clearing as well, but you've saved a lot. Like she's got the big coin there. She saved a lot and she just wants, to, she just wants to use this big coin to help others. Like she doesn't, she, she would love, she, she would love to like spend it on herself and go shopping and do this, but that doesn't fulfill her or satisfy her helping others does. So what else? She's suppressing. She, you're letting go of suppressing your, your emotions and your feelings and being tied down. You're no longer going to suppress yourself. Right? Look at how he's like being weighed down. This is like the phoenix rising from the ashes. She's transforming from this feeling right here to like this energy of light. See how he goes from this struggle and strive to all of a sudden he's just energy. It's almost like when somebody passes away, they go from the physical body to the enlightenment. So I'm seeing enlightenment. I'm seeing you trusting your instinct. I'm seeing these two-faced people in your life. Like, you know, they're two-faced. If they talk to you about other, if they gossip to you about others, you know, they're gossiping about you to others, right? So you're trusting your instinct. Your intuition is getting very sharp. This is what you're manifesting. You are manifesting sexual energy. Ooh, sexy mama, sexy papa. Um, and I love he's got the, the eight Celtic symbol there, infinity. Um, and the ball of energy is at his sex at his sacral chakra. So you're healing your sexual self. You are letting go of any sexual um, issues that you may have, like shame um, from childhood, or how we have we have been taught that to be sh ashamed of sex. You're letting that go, and you're honoring your sexuality. Number twelve, your creative, right? Our our. Reproductive system is our creative portal. So you are honoring it. Thank you. Go sit down, mama. I'll, I'll, I'll be right there, okay? So ecstasy. Oh, my God, that's twice. So in my 8-8 uh, eight, eight reading, ecstasy came through there as well. So we have ecstasy again. Ecstasy, new partners, surrender, sexual bliss, worthiness. So feeling worthy. This card shows two stone people standing apart but connected by a shell, the watery symbol of emotional protection, and three spheres of light, the energy created by the two. So two people coming together to create a third energy is a baby, right? But also sexual alchemy is when two people come together and they both manifest, they both with the intent of the sexual energy to manifest something and they manifest a third energy. And it doesn't have to be just be a baby. It could be anything they want to manifest. So sexual alchemy. 
Everything you require in this life is available to you when you believe that you are worthy to receive it. And I've always thought that, but you don't have to believe it to be worthy of anything. I, I know people that are not worthy of great things and they know they're not worthy of it, but they still get it. People still give them stuff. So you don't have to be worthy of anything. Just You just have to know that it's yours. Many of us tend to believe that if we look sexy enough, others will love us. We may equate sex with love, feeling inadequate or unloved if we are not having physical sex. This can be manipulative and give us a false sense of love. To be able to have true love or experience the power of your sexual energy, you must first know that you are worthy. So there are times in many, in many of our lives when we have been abused or felt unloved. This can create a feeling that we are not worthy to be happy or receive love. This is false. Know that you are worthy. So you don't have to believe that you are worthy because you already are. Okay. Okay, we have portal for the unraveling. Oh my gosh, look at that. It looks like a boat in the storm. Wowza, that looks like a boat in the storm. It looks very similar to this energy. Look at the with the wolves and that one. You've got to trust your instinct and let go of regret. You've got to bet on yourself. Yes. Uh-oh. I just had the little booklet for where did it go? Here it is. Okay. So it is nine of clubs. Here we go. Portal for the unraveling and the message is acceptance. Accepting yourself, accepting the situation, accepting you as you are. The portal of the unraveling can lead to the unknown and transport you to wild and chaotic places. The downside, if this portal is opening for you, do not take it as a warning, but more as a fact of life. Time is something you will always seek to control and never will. It will eventually unravel and you will have to learn that all you can do in the situation is your best. And the upside of this is, accept that you are tethered to the unraveling and find a way to use it to your advantage. There is a beauty in the chaos. It grants you freedom to roam. There is beauty in chaos. From chaos comes clarity. And that's what we were just talking about. I don't know if it was pile one or this, if, if it was this one. I don't even know. But I was talking about how <clears throat> Moldavite, um, yeah, it was pile one because they got Moldavite. And Moldavite is like chaos. It brings chaos, but clarity. Like it really transforms you on a deep, profound level. So I don't know why I'm bringing that up. Maybe you, want, you were thinking about picking pile one or maybe you should go to pile one. But we got Lepidolite. Lepidolite is a great crystal for healing any type of like depression, um, chemical imbalances, um, things like that. Any type of mental stuff. It contains beautiful and profound healing properties. So we have 44 here. Number eight, building a solid foundation. Conscious feeling. All right. Conscious feeling. Lepidolite. Portal for the lilies. Look at another eight. Portal for the lilies. Lepidolite. Lepidolite. Some call it lepidolite. I call it lepidolite. So if lepidolite has come to you today, you're being asked to follow your heart. At this time in your life, feelings are being united with your thoughts. If you stay true to your feelings, everything will follow its true path, allowing the manifestation of your goals. Lepidolite often appears when choice, confusion, or depression has led to a lack of action in life. She is a gentle, loving motivation towards that which we came to earth to achieve, but have temporarily forgotten or lost track of. Search your heart in a logical way, and the real answers are there. They always have been. This is a powerful context stone for female ascended beings and archangelic hierarchy. The key words are conscious feeling, thought, and feeling. So this is the empath card. This is conscious feeling. This is like I go out and I see a dog on the street and I feel that. I'm consciously aware of it, right? The reaching of goals. So I'm seeing a goal being reached. Balance. So I'm seeing a kundalini awakening. When I see balance, I think of chakras for these readings. Um, decision making via your heart. So going with your heart, not thinking with your head, but going with your heart. Children of the light, follow your heart. Ascended master, Hilarion. And the animal totem is the Monterey. 
I love that the color rays are 33, 30, 33 pink, 33 violet, 13 clear, 13 silver. Wow. This is the crystal for the children of the light or the star indigos or crystal children. It's often found side by side with Moldavite. And we were talking about Moldavite. Um, pile one. Pile one. So I think maybe pile one is calling you. Uh, Lepidolite is the contact stone for Master Hilarion, Archangel Raphael, Goddess Nun, Quetesh, Kitesh, and Egyptian god Nihe. It's a great crystal for obsessive thoughts, insomnia, depression, bipolar, mood swings, um, Alzheimer's. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Okay. And I love that we got another magenta. So I'm definitely seeing crown chakra activity for you guys. Your crown chakra is being activated this portal and music is coming to you. So you're hearing messages in music. I'm also seeing like healing music, uh, listening to healing frequencies, healing tones, but I'm also, but mainly I'm hearing messages in music and I'm also hearing classical music. Um, when I hear classical music, that means my crown chakra is ah, like lit up because um, classical music, um, it's tuned to 432 and it really aligns our frequency beautifully. Spirit quartz. I've never seen a spirit quartz. I've always wanted one. This like exact kind. Okay, next we've got green Tara, supreme protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond it, it, limitation. Trust. So green star. So heart chakra, your heart chakra again. So you are protected. So there's cords being cut. You're, you're cutting things out of your life. These two-faced people, right? I was just, I just made a post the other day about how, oh, I wish I had something to put here. I got an idea. How about this? There we go. Okay. Okay. I had, I had an idea. I posted about um, if we are friends with people that we know are, are horrible people, what does that say about us? And why are we, why do we keep these people around? Because there has to be a reason, right? A selfish reason why we would keep somebody who is, who we would consider just the worst of the worst in our life. So it's, it says a lot about us and it's not because we're compassionate and we see the good in everybody. No, um, because in those situations, you're not being true to yourself by keeping those kinds of people that are two-faced around. It's almost like you're setting yourself up to be a victim of that situation. And that's why there, there's that connection. So in this case, you are protected. You're cutting this bullshit out. Green Tara, it also brings money. So money is coming, abundance. We had abundance card earlier. So money is coming through this portal. And look at a ring. See, it looks like he's got a ring, like he's holding the diamond in his hand. If I gave you diamonds and pearls. Would you be a happy boy or a girl? Prince has been coming through a lot of my reading. What is going on? Um, manic. We just got lipidolite, which helps with manic depression. And here we go, manic. So maybe you're healing some sort of emotional imbalance, chemical imbalance. You are transitioning from, you're transitioning from something, whether it's friendships, a job, or something that no longer serves you. Like something that's just like, okay, I'm done with that. Uh, I gave it, I gave it a chance and I see the truth and I want, I want to be done with it. And more pearls. If I gave you diamonds and pearls, would you be a happy boy or a girl? Okay. Um, let's read Manic. And, and so these are the fine. Actually, I had two more. I'm going to, I'm going to put these here so I don't forget. So let's read Manic. Monique, I think it's Monique. Monique, like Monique, portal for the living. I love that. You're ascending. Look at that image. That's you going into this portal, arms wide open, ready to receive whatever the universe has for you and what you're manifesting. So <clears throat> Monique is the deer. Qualities, completion of something. Oh, like what I was saying, you're complete. You're letting things go. You're completing it. You're like closing the door on it. Gateway opening. Oh, there it is, guys. 
beauty, identifying your beauty, dance, mudras, divination, acting as if. Oh my God. So my friend Amy that passed away, the last movie I saw with her at her, we had a slumber, like a, a pajama party and we watched Clueless and, you know, everybody's walking around as if, but as if also represents manifestation. Act as if it's already yours, as if it's already yours. So spiritual tools, the priest pieces, uh, the symbols are the tsunami and the hand. The number is seven. So introspection, the shadow wisdom, issues of completing things, taking on too much, feeling inadequate, pressured or scattered, issues of acquiring tools. You don't need any tools, though they're great to work with. Everything is a, if we didn't have tools here on earth, we wouldn't be able to like cut meat or like uh, cook vegetable, cut vegetables or like shovel dirt outside if we didn't have a shovel like if we need tools some things we don't need tools for like i don't do i need these cards no but they they're a great tool to focus on to still to read and tell great messages you know it's all about you don't need them you you coexist in, and you coexist with them just like crystals right we don't need them but we do need them because they are a great benefit to us they hold great ancient wisdom, and we need them in all our electronics with quartz. So, <clears throat> shadow transformation. Become aware of your resistance and distractions. Learn to finish what you start. Take in satisfaction in each step along the way. Use commitment, focused intention, and openness to help you complete whatever it is you need to complete. Experience yourself as the tool of the light. You are the tool. Now, I don't mean it like you're the tool, like the dada, the dodo head. Um, I mean it like you're the, you're, you are the light. You are the oracle. You are, you have all the answers in you. And these cards just bring it out of you because it's already in you. The affirmation is I complete, I open, I am one with the light. So the deer, the deer is the animal. I would like to do the deer for you. If it's in here, I don't know if it's in here. It's got to be in here. If it's not in here, I don't know. Dear, you've been involved in some aggressive negative circumstances and need to seek out safe, nurturing situations and people. More than ever, you need to trust your gut instinct. Oh my God, that's exactly what I've been saying. You're poised for an enticing adventure, one that will take you down many different paths and lead to many important insights. Be gentle with yourself and others. And there's other messages that I'm not going to read them, but there's the caribou, the elk, the mule deer, the stag the white-tailed deer. I, I'm going to read the white-tailed deer. You're entering a time of plenty, right? There's a great opportunity to take some time off right now and just relax. And Frankie interrupted the reading. So here's dog. Keep your faith strong no matter what's going on in your life. Remain determined. Show your love and appreciation in creative ways to those closest to you. Oh, sweet. Okay. Um, and now we're going to read, what well, we're going to show you, trans, transition. <clears throat> um, I don't know about anybody here, but I've had uh, issues with my throat. Like, my, I, it's been so hard to, like, I keep feeling like I have something in my throat. And, and cough. So my throat chakra has been, I think our throat chakra is activating higher is what I think is happening. So if you're having a lot of throat issues, your higher your higher throat chakra is activating. So transition, page 22. So once again, manifesting something. You guys are manifesting something. The energy of transition radiates trust and prepares you for new times. Every challenge dissolves old ideas and simultaneously creates new possibilities. I love that. Trust and prepares you for new times. Okay, so now let's do one of these. Tree of life, true wisdom and making good choices in life. I love that. Um, willow trees have been popping up a lot. I'm going to do one more of these. Oh, look it. There's a card. Choice. By staying conscious in your thoughts, you guide your journey and direction of choice. You have the choice who you can keep in your life and who goes. You have choices where you want to stay, where you want to go. You, you decide. 
Felix Felicius, power symbol to create lucky serendipitous events. So I'm seeing a serendipitous event. And what's a serendipity? It's a lucky accident. Something that seems like it's an accident, but it's actually something very lucky. And then one more of these. Dreams. The universe speaks to you through your dreams. And I, if you watch my 8-8 reading, I talk about a dream I had about time traveling. How everybody, like, I could be talking to me, younger me right now. And younger me wouldn't know that that's, this is me. We're all coexisting, living together as one. Thank you guys so much. I hope that this reading resonated for you. And I can't wait to see what you manifest on this 8-8 portal. Thank you so much, Pile 2. Moving on to Pile 3. Okay, what are you manifesting? What's coming in for you guys? Queen of Cups, emotional fulfillment, guys. A choice based on sincere feelings, imagination, dreams, empathy. Um, wow, your throat chakra. I was just talking about the throat chakra in the second reading. But I'm definitely seeing um, nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, treating yourself, treat yourself, treat yourself. I'm seeing you, so the number eight, letting go of guilt. I'm seeing you releasing that, but I'm seeing you feeling not guilty of having of, of being having experiences, not guilty of having money. You know what I mean? Sometimes we feel guilty that we're doing better than somebody else. Or let's say we're on a vacation and somebody else isn't on a vacation. Or uh, we got all this money and somebody else didn't get all this money. Or we won something and somebody else didn't win something. Like we went to the casino and it was 10 people and one of the one of the 10 friends won you know twenty thousand dollars everybody else lost that one person that won all that money might feel a little guilty that everybody else lost their money and left with zero right so it's about letting go of that guilty feeling of doing good let go of that guilty feeling of doing good because let go of the guilty feeling you have about having abundance sometimes we block our abundance because we feel guilty or we don't feel worthy of it. And there's Ammonite. And this actually came through in my 8-8 reading. The 8-8-8 live reading that I did today. It's on my YouTube if you want to watch it. It's here. Um, Ammonite. I love Ammonite. I wonder if I have... I don't think I have Ammonite in any of my books. I really honestly don't think I do. I wish I did. Um, but I know that they, they're very ancient crystals. And they are made of seashells. It's like, almost like petrified coral. So look at that. It's so beautiful. And we have all those beautiful crystals. It looks like crystal quartz lighting up, Lemurian quartz, abundance. Uh, so we've got eight over here ascending to nine. Abundance is coming in. You're letting go of this guilt that you have about abundance right? Beyond all this crap here, look at the flowers growing in the top. I'm so excited about abundance. The ending of a cycle. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. So we have portal for the desert. There's a cave. Okay, so um, abundance, success, possessions, happiness, harvest. A group of glowing crystals stand majestically between a shell and a tower of balancing stones with many light spheres forming a circle around the tower. Abundance does not come without action. When you stay on your path doing what lights up your heart and have great trust in yourself, the universe will provide. Oh. If you've been feeling empty lately and think you need things, think again. Fill your soul with possibility of abundance. So I'm seeing abundance coming for you. I'm seeing you letting go of the lack mentality. Know and believe it is yours to manifest it. Beautiful. Okay. 
moving on to the next card. We've got, oh, I, I forgot about the song. So your guys' song was uh, Killing Me Softly. So this, the first pile, the first pile, um, Killing Me Softly came through. <laughs> Literally, the words for the killing me softly were in one of the messages in the cards. So you might have been drawn to pile number one as well. Um, killing me softly with... And it was about whales. Because it was like the whales song uh, sings to you softly or something like that. And I was like, oh my God, killing me softly is the number three song. <laughs> so... Um, and this song, this song is about, I heard he sang a good song. I heard he had a style. And so I came to... So the point of the song is this, this guy is writing songs that re resonate so deeply with this woman that she thinks that he's writing about her. Like, I know it's his song, but it's like, man, it's like he's speaking directly to me. And... Um, that's what I, I, how I interpret this song. Like, you know, the way that he sings about his pain and everything. Whoa, that was a, a weird noise right now. The way that he sings about his pain. Um, and I'm seeing red, letters being written out loud. Letters being read out loud. Strumming my pain with his fingers. And then um, I was like, oh, I don't really think that that's the song. So I just got an extra song just in case. And it was Between Angels and Insects by Papa Roach. And Papa Roach, um, the song in itself is about letting go of the idea of money and possessions and obsessions. And that came through in Pile 2, letting go of possessions. No, oh, actually, no, that came through here. Possessions. Um, letting go of the need to want things that you just don't even need, buying things that you don't even need. The universe will give you, yeah, I mean, the universe will give you whatever you ask for, you know, it'll come in its own way. I just want to be heard. Loud and clear are my words coming from within. Tell them what you heard. It's about a revolution in your heart, in your mind. You can't find a conclusion. Lifestyle and obsession. Diamond rings get you nothing but a lifelong lesson. And your pocketbook stressing. You're a slave to the system, working jobs that you hate for that shit you don't need. It's too bad. The world is based on greed. Step back and see. Stop thinking about yourself. Stop thinking about money, possessions, obsessions. Present yourself, press your clothes, comb your hair, cut in. You just can't win. You can't win when the things you own own you is the message there. Okay. Between angels and insects. Moving on. God of God's Queen of Cups, gods of love. Look at you got two Queen of Cups. You got two Queen of Cups, emotional fulfillment, girls and boys, and Kundalini awakening and the rose, esoteric knowledge. You are being blessed with not only the Kundalini awakening, but esoteric wisdom and knowledge that comes with that. Enlightenment is all that information and knowledge that's in the Akashic field. And look at, there's twins. Twin flame union. I, I don't talk about twin flames anymore because it's just gotten to be ridiculous how far off people have gotten with it, but they still exist. They're still out there changing the world together. They're not running or chasing from each other. If they're not together, it's because they haven't even met yet. But this is like twins there. So let's uh, take a looky, gooky, looky. Take a wooky, looky at the Queen of Hearts. Such a cute little card too. I just really love the artwork on these cards. Present yourself, press your clothes, comb your hair. The gods of love. The card is all about love. Uh, the gods of love are twins intertwined for eternity. They imbue the heart with magic and soul with love. 
The downside, one of the twins represents the pains of love. She is heartbreak and lives in the eyes of crying mothers and the hearts of unrequited lovers. She knows of the necessity of pain to move through emotion. Yes, I love that. Um, the upside, the other twin is the beauty of love. She teaches us of the reason for existence. She offers hope and has the power to win wars. She is love personified and her strength is incomparable and never ending. It's like the yin and yang, right? We have the light and the dark and they exist together. And that's what these twins are. One is yin, one is yang. Can I help you, Frankie? Do you need some help or something? Do you need to like sit somewhere? Are you being a fresh girl? Yeah, move over here. Um, in, in pile, I think it was pile two, Frankie interrupted the reading and it talked about interruptions and how seeing them as not interruptions, but as blessings. And it is. It's a blessing because um, when she's gone one day, I'm going to watch back this reading somehow and she's going to be there. Right, Fresh Girl? Stay right here. Good girl. You want to come and sit up here? Come on. Oh, my girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue. You want to sit right here? There you go. Okay, go ahead. What's ending? A completion. So we're healing our heart of any grief that we've held on to. We're letting go of the pain and just letting the love live in our heart, right? It's a completion. Oh, it's this card. We're healing our sacral chakra as well. We're letting go of any grief that we may, any, any uh, shame or guilt that we may have felt in regards to somebody who passed away. If you've been holding on to any shame or guilt of somebody that passed away, this is healing that or letting it go, right? You have learned from it because now we've got Shatukite, the teacher. So you've learned from it. You are manifesting lessons. You're manifesting a teacher in your life or maybe you're manifesting you teaching You're being, the Queen of Cups talks about just emotionally healing things. Hey, what are you doing under there? Rascal. Ooh, we got a couple cards in this deck that were for, that were also in the 8-8 eight, eight reading in this pile. So I think that's really cool because it's a collective, 8 is the collective. And um, Sapphire, Spiritual Truth. Ah, I love it because look at the both crystals are very similar. I really love Shintakai. It's such a cool crystal. And let's talk about, let's talk about Sapphire again. We have portal for the new beginning. Look at all the keys. So you're having a lot of keys handed to you to open new doors for you finally. All the doors will be open for you. Sapphire. So, um... This card is all about spiritual truth, communication, channeling, blue, ancient healing systems, psychic abilities, converting knowledge to wisdom and teaching it. Intuition and your life purpose. It says Sapphire's presence in your life today may also mean that it's time to convert the knowledge you have worked so hard to achieve into wisdom. This conversion only takes place through action defined by the spirit in the egoless state. Sapphire also appears when one is being called to the ocean. It may be time for the cleansing light only it can offer, the ocean. And it's interesting because we have OC over here. Okay. Um, the animal totem is the elephant. So let's check out the elephant real fast. It's just going to be quickly. Make it a point to be of service in some way to the young, elderly, or those less fortunate than yourself. Do not let anything stand in the way of attaining this goal that is so integral to your purpose. You have the determination and persistence required to overcome the current challenges that you're faced with. Trust your senses, and if something in your life smells bad, take the necessary action to do away with it. Remain loyal to those closest to you in spite of anyone questioning their integrity. It's a good time to renew your sense of connectedness to the divine. And I like that part. Remain loyal to those closest to you in spite of anyone questioning their integrity because... You can still, I always say like one person's karma is not your karma with them, right? 
but maybe if that person hurts you, despite of everybody questioning their integrity, then that's your lesson to learn, right? So you continue being friends or whatever uh, in connection with somebody who we know has, is not of good integrity. And then they end up hurting us in the end. And we realize, okay, that's why I continued being in that person's life because I needed that lesson. Okay, moving on. Archangel Michael, trusting heaven, you are safe. Angel, stand close, surrender your concerns and allow miracles to occur. So there's a miracle coming. Archangel Michael is bringing it. He's also Archangel Metatron. So I'm seeing Metatron's cube. And look at, he's got a beautiful sapphire on his chest there. Sapphire, sapphire. Archangel Michael. Um, I wasn't going to read any of those. I don't think I've read any of them, but I just want to see something. Yeah, if you're feeling overwhelmed, Archangel Michael is coming in. And he clears out uh, people, places, and things that don't serve you. So there it is again. Clearing out people in your life that no longer serve you. That are not good for you, you know. That was more of a message for Pile 2. So, oh, look at Speaking of Pile 2, there's two. Polarity. Portal for the healer. So you are healing. Look in the mirror. Who faces you on the other side? That was also in part in the 888 reading, in the live reading. Loom of reality, sacred twins, again. Cooperation, relationship, polarity of male and female duality. Two is the ray of polarity. The sacred twins, smoky mirror and clear reflection, all things in relationship. Polarity is the loom on which reality is strung. The magnetic dance of universal forces within the mirror of polarity, you will find many faces of illusion as well as ultimate freedom from illusion. Part one had a lot of mirrors as well. Um, so polarity reveals your conflict, struggles, and apparent separation created by your beliefs and duality. Examine your attractions and aversions. Discover the loom of reality that is intricately woven into relationships. Utilize the teachings that are held in the number two. Partnership. So I'm seeing a partnership. Polar polarized positions actually work in cooperative alliance. In cooperation, all polarities serve as background for full appreciation of one another. Also examine the polarity of male and female within yourself. Explore your divine feminine and masculine. Look for the gifts within your relationships. Look for, um, investigate the polarities within them and explore natural lines of force and growth they create. Remember, polarity is the pulse of the universal source. There's no money. There's no possession. And look at another blue sapphire. Look at that. That's three sapphires in a row. Three blue crystals in a row. Crazy. Right? And number two again. So we have two, two, two. Partnership coming in. So you're manifesting a partnership for this business, uh, romantic, um, friendship, uh, some sort of partnership. Um, and it's going to be emotionally fulfilling because we do have the two queen of cups. Somebody that you can easily that you can tell your emotions to and they can tell you them back in this like symbiotic, beautiful relationship. Um, the common message is the dog and the foot. Oh my God. I was just talking about feet with my sisters. I was making a joke about feetfinder.com or something like that. Um, because my sister has like, she always has like a pedicure and cute toes. And we're like, you could totally make a big bucks on feet finder. <laughs> But anyway, um, qualities, breakthrough, new beginnings, relationships, companions of destiny, emotional body issues, recasting the past, spiritual strength, guardians, and guides. The symbol is the wolf, the dog, and the foot. And I think part one or part two also had wolf. That was the message. There goes the glasses. Um, the number is 10, and it represents manifestation. So whatever it is you're manifesting on your own is manifesting. Shadow wisdom, issues of the emotional body, possessiveness, jealousy, getting caught up in the drama of life, feeling unsupported on your own path, seemingly disconnected from your companions of destiny. So I love that um, because it's a shadow wisdom is, um, you know, you see other people getting supported on their path and you wish you had some support or you're seeing other people get things that you really would want to have and you have a little bit of jealousy. It's, it's all natural. Don't beat yourself up about it. It's natural to feel that way when, when you're, 
when you don't have the support system that some have, you know, it's okay and it's natural because your time will come too. Um, the shadow transformation is access the objective witness who sees the emotional drama dispassionately and frees your experience. Bring your emotions out of drama into a place of choice, receiving their teaching and healing the root cause, open to the connection and support of your companions of destiny. So find those companions of destiny. Affirmation, I am open to new beginnings. I receive guardians and guides. Beautiful. And then finally, we've got, it looks like two boobs, doesn't it? Like, look at them boobs shining on me. Golden boobs shining on me. <laughs> or golden boobs in the ocean. I don't know. It's really cool. But here we go. Balance. Oh, I love this card. A very Look at the very similar colors. Beautiful green, almost teal green. Um, we have this triangle here representing, and this is balance, but the triangle itself represents, um, is that feminine or is that masculine? I think it's feminine. Receptivity, right? Balance. So let's see what we got with balance. And, you know, balance, when I see the balance card, I always think chakra, the chakras are lighting up, right? Kundalini awakening. So are you ready for this Kundalini awakening? Because they can be really intense, but very, very profound and magical. Always journal. The energy of balance helps you recognize yourself. If you are true to your feelings, if you recognize your own truth, nothing will be able to disturb your balance or your peace. I love that because we were just talking about other people, what other people are doing with their life. Don't compare yourself to them. Um, don't compare yourself. Just keep doing what you are doing. And the right things and situations and people will come to you right? You don't have to chase anything. The right situations will come to you. Here we go. Closing it out. Safe and happy travel. Protection from harm on journey. So I'm seeing somebody traveling. Somebody's manifesting a trip this, um, this August. So the rest of this portal, which the portal ends mid-August. Wishes coming true. Rapid achievement of your dreams and wishes. So look at that. You're traveling. Wishes coming true. That's really powerful. And since you're pile three, I'm going to do three cards. That is so great. I'm so happy for you. Whatever you've been wishing for. Abracadabra. So you're flying somewhere. Abracadabra with wings. Fantastic good fortune and lucky chances. That's phenomenal. So definitely seeing somebody flying somewhere, going somewhere, traveling somewhere. And it's a wish come true. And you're manifesting, I see as I speak, right? What you see, what you speak is coming to fruition. Manifest it. You still got a few more hours. The portal closed. Actually, you got a few more days. The portal this is just the peak of the 8-8. Eight eight. The portal closes um, mid-August. Inner world. Your external world is a reflection of your inner world. We know that. Intuition. Trust your intuition. It has been guiding you to the answers that you seek and signs. The universe has been gently nudging you forward by revealing to you signs and synchronicities. Listen to them. Okay, pile three, thank you so much for trusting me to read for you. I'm so grateful. I, I can't wait to see how all this manifests for you. So once again, thank you so much. I hope everybody has a fantastic Lionsgate portal. I love you all. Namaste.